Okay. I think we're live. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Larry James. My company is Speak with Larry, No Spaces. And <clears throat> what I'm talking about today has to do with, you guessed it, the stock market. That's right. For the next 90 days, I'm going to be creating videos, sharing information about my new favorite subject, the stock market. So since I'm going to be investing, you know, more than two or three dollars into the stock market, I want to make sure that I know a little bit about how that system works. So for the next 90 days, I'm creating videos, two videos a week. Uh, also, I have an audio podcast that I create on Mondays. I'm going to be creating information on the stock market in on that as well. So that the more I repeat it, the more I hear it, the more I do research, and the more I share that content, the more it'll stick with me. Now, my company, Speak With Larry, teaches you how to set up the foundation of an online business while helping you become more comfortable speaking about it. But it teaches you that with the same process that I'm using right here to gain information about the stock market. For instance, what you would do is you would have your subject or your title, which in this case, mine is the stock market. And then you would do research on two days and you would create, create videos one to three minutes long on three days, right? I know that may seem like a lot, but it's not because what I'm doing right now, I normally do 30, 40 minute videos and I can only do that because of the repetition that I have gone through over the process, right? And that's what you want to do. You want to get, you know, in, uh, content in the can, so to speak. You want to have your the the social proof, right? This is what I've done, right? And then it'll change who you are because as you're doing research, you're going to gain information. You're going to know people you don't know. You're going to know processes you don't know. And that's going to put you on a different level, right? And that's what you want to be on a different level. That lets you know that you're in the, in the right place, doing the right thing. But getting back to the stock market, um, I'm going to talk about the NASDAQ today. And I'm just going to read it to you. That's what I do. You know, I just read it. And then you uh, get the opportunity to replay this and listen to it and get a better understanding. But some people listen, I mean, I learn better by listening. Right, And sometimes they like to watch while they're listening. So I'm giving you the opportunity to do that with these videos. <clears throat> so we're gonna, it, it goes, what is the NASDAQ? And this information is from Investopedia. So it's not, I didn't create this, I'm just sharing, okay? I'm learning. What is NASDAQ? NASDAQ is a global electronic marketplace for buying and selling securities. NASDAQ was created by the National Association of Securities Dealers, NASD, to enable investors to trade securities on a computerized, speedy, and transparent system and commence oper it commenced operation on February 8, 1971. The term NASDAQ is also used to refer to the NASDAQ composite, an index of more than 3,000 stocks listed on the NASDAQ exchange that includes the world's foremost technology and biotech giants, such as Apple, Google, Microsoft, Oracle, Amazon, and Intel. On December 1st, 2020, NASDAQ proposed a rule change to the SEC that if approved would require companies on the exchange to report on the diversity of their board of directors. Also, it would require most boards to have at least two diverse directors, including at least one who self-identifies as female and one who self-identifies as either an un unprecedented minority or LGBTQ plus. Interesting, right? I did not know that. Now I do, and you do also. 
Now, nah, well, that's that's different. Now, originals of NASDAQ. NASDAQ officially separated from the NASD and began to operate as a national securities exchange in 2006. In 2007, it combined with the Scandinavian exchange group OMX to become the NASDAQ OMX group, which is the largest exchange company globally powered, powering one in 10 of the world's securities transactions. One in 10, that's a lot of the world's securities transactions. Headquartered in New York, NASDAQ OMX operates 25 markets, primarily equities and also including options fixed income derivatives and commodities, as well as one clearinghouse and five central securities depositories in the United States and Europe. Its cutting edge trading technology is used by 70 exchanges in 50 countries. It is listed on the NASDAQ under the symbol NDAQ and has been part of the S&P 500 since 2008. The NASDAQ computerized trading system was initially devised as an alternative to the inefficient specialist system, which had been the prevalent model for almost a century. The rapid evolution of technology has made the NASDAQ electronic trading model the standard for markets worldwide. As a leader in trading technology from the outset, it was only fitting that the world's technology giant choose to list on the NASDAQ in their early days. As the technology sector grew in prominence in the 1980s and 1990s, the NASDAQ became the most widely followed proxy for this sector. The technology and dot-com boom and bust of the late 1990s is exemplified by the rise and fall of the NASDAQ composite during this period. The NASDAQ, no, no, the index crossed the 1000 mark for the first time in July of 1995, soared in the following years and peaked at over 4,500 in March of 2000 before slumping almost 80% by October 20, 2002 in the subsequent correction. Now, a little recent history about the NASDAQ. In February 2011, in the wake of an announced merger of the New York Stock Exchange, Euronext with Deutsch Bourse speculations developed that NASDAQ OMX and Intercontinental Exchange or ICE could mount a counter bid of their own for the US United New York Stock Exchange. <laughs> At that time, the New York Stock Exchange Euronext markets value was 9.75 billion. NASDAQ was valued at 5.78 billion, while ICE was valued at 9.45 billion. Now that's the money, right? We're talking money. It's money in the, in the stock market. Uh, continuing on, late in the month, NASDAQ was reported to be considered, considering asking either ICE or the Chicago Mercantile exchange to join in what would probably have to be if it proceeded and 11 to 12 billion counter bid. The European Association of Securities Dealers automatic quotation system ESDAC was founded in Europe equivalent to the NASDAQ stock, stock market. It was purchased by NASDAQ in 2001 and became NASDAQ Europe. Operations were shut down, however, however, as a result, as a result of the bursting of the dot-com bubble. Mm. 
Interesting. In 2007, NASDAQ Europe was revived as Equiduct, and it was currently operating under Boris Berlin. On June 18, 2012, NASDAQ OMX became a founding member of the United Nations Sustainable Stock Exchanges in initiative on the eve of the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development. In November 2016, NASDAQ Chief Operating Officer Adina Friedman was promoted to the role of CEO, becoming the first woman to run a major exchange in the United States. In 2016, NASDAQ earned $272 million in listing-related revenues. And finally, NASDAQ achieved its highest ever close on August 18, 2018, when its index peaked at 8109.69. And in 2018, it was announced that the NASDAQ was planning to introduce cryptocurrency futures the next year in conjunction with a prominent investment firm. So that's a little about the NASDAQ, ladies and gentlemen. And I wanted to share some of that with you guys today, simply because when we're talking about the stock market, we're going to be learning a lot of different things that we just simply have no clue about, zero clue. So sometimes it's kind of you know, good to walk into a building. Just imagine if you're on a tour and you're going through museums and whatnot. It's better if you have someone there that's explaining certain things about the museum so that you get a different feel, right? Than just, you know, reading it yourself and, you know, processing everything in your mind, then taking action. I like to share information so that it kind of includes you while uh, I'm doing what I do, right? So, because I like your mind to go as I'm reading. That's why I like to get better at reading. But, you know, we're all human, right? Anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. It's really helping my numbers. So don't forget to like these videos, share these videos, and by all means, come back and watch some more. <laughs> all right. Again, my name is Larry James. My company is Speak with Larry. And as always, share with someone else what I've shared with you.